All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have managed to make it out. As you can see, I don't see any creepers anywhere. So I'm gonna make a run for Mushroom Island. Hopefully I can make it over there. Whoa! I may not make it though, I am pretty hungry. And if I can't punch one of these guys out before I die, it was fun, guys. Oh, don't get too hungry, swimming. Come on, you could do it. Swim, you bastard. All right, mushrooms. Come to Pyro. Please don't make me chase you too far, because I am so hungry. So hungry. All right, I think. Come on. All right, where are the mushrooms? They're usually located on the other side of this over here. Just gonna get get to pedaling. Thankfully, there's usually no creepers over here, so hopefully I won't get blown up. Now there's a mushroom up on that hill over there to the left, but uh, I'm a little worried about trying to get up there fast enough. There's usually like there they are. All right, hopefully I can kill one of these real. Oh shit! Okay, eating quickly. I'm eating. Stop starving. Okay, whew. All right, so we'll kill another mushroom. I thought the mushroom hit me for a bit there. I was like, oh my god. All right. And there we go. All right, whew. Well, that was really, really freaking close. That's about as close as you can get it. There we go. All right, almost full. A full pyro is a happy pyro. Or something like that. Alright, and one more. Alright. What's a mushroom? There we go. And we'll kill this one down here just so I can have some food in case it comes down to it. Alright, now I'm gonna try and switch over to mushroom farming. Uh, just real quick. Now mushrooms, uh, this is a red mushroom as you can see. The red mushrooms drop red mushrooms and the brown mushrooms, trees, uh, which there is a couple over there, you can see those. Uh, the brown mushroom trees obviously drop brown mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms only grow apparently under a certain level of light. I, I, I don't know the different light levels yet, what they all mean, but I think it's like nine or below or something along those lines. So going to uh, try and bust these out real fast, although it does look like it's already getting dark, isn't it? That didn't sound good. I don't know if you guys can hear that scary, ominous sound. But I'm gonna... I may have to dig a hole over here and just bunker down for the night. I hope not. Really hope not, because I'd like to get back over to my house do some digging. How many do I have? 15 and 16. We're good. That's 16 and 15 food. Alright, I'm going to try and swim back over and get back to our little humble cavern. I'll eventually build some mushrooms under the ground and have like my own little mushroom farm. So I don't want to completely pick this area clean, but 16 mushroom soup will last me quite a while. Now you can see there's some trees over on my island now. They did thankfully finally grow. So I'm going to try and get over there and punch me down a few trees and get some more saplings planted prior to uh, prior to darkness. We'll see. I may not make it. At least I know I don't have to starve to death. <laughs> that was about as close to starving to death uh, as, I, as I've ever come. I, I figured I was just going to fall over dead, but Thankfully, it's a it's a dot effect, so getting low on food sucks, but it's not going to kill you immediately, so you have a little bit of time to kind of freak out and run like hell. Um, during my digging last night, I did find a couple pieces of iron, so I was able to make some iron ingots. I need to stop punching these bushes and get over here, and I need to make sure there's no creepers. This is exactly how I died last time. I don't see any creepers anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and bust these open real fast. Now, one of the things about trees, I 
five is an annoyance is their height, obviously, and I want to get... I'm almost more concerned with the leaves than I am with the wood at the moment. Uh, the leaves can be used to plant other trees, which will obviously grow my uh, my access to these plants, and you, you know, I need lots of trees. You know, maybe not a ridiculous amount, but, you know, need some trees. So, um, one of these trees seems to have branched out really nicely, which will be really nice for me here in a minute. I'll show you that if I have time before we go dark. Alright, digging down. And yes, I will be switching over to an axe once I have a decent amount of wood. Come on, there we go. How many saplings? All right, so just chopping this one tree down, I'm able to plant three more. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant this one, I guess, right where that one was planted. Knock this stuff out real fast. And I'm basic, I'll show you guys the uh, branched out tree. Right over here, this tree made quite a few branches, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock some of these down. See if I can't get decent amount of wood. I don't remember how much. Where's my exit? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Try and come over here real fast. Boom. Bam. Pull that out. There we go. Boom. Boom. And we're going to make stone axes. Come on. There we go. Those will thankfully significantly quicker chop down these trees. Now, um, unfortunately, punching the leaf branches down does consume durability. So be careful doing that. Um, you, know, you obviously want to trim the leaves because that's where the seeds come from, but at the same time, in survival mode, when you first start, if you, know, if you start on an island like I have, where trees are limited, you want to be very careful on your durability. Because the more weapons you go through, the faster you have to uh, replace them, and obviously that gets kind of inconvenient when you have when you have no trees. Thankfully, it doesn't seem to matter, apparently, if you punch with trees and such. Now, I've gotten five different trees and growing. I'll probably end up with like 15 new trees by the time I finish deforesting all of these, assuming I have the time to deforest all of them. I may not. There's my one of the new ones I planted. Now our little farm that's down below that we started um, isn't going to be big enough to be able to handle these quite yet because I'm going to have to, uh, there we go, I have to expand that first, uh, specifically the height isn't tall enough. And it definitely feels like it's getting darker. So we will be retiring to our little cave here momentarily. There we go. Nice little collection of wood again. I'm going to go ahead and replant this tree here. We'll plant another one there. Plant another one there. Plant one here. There. Actually, that may not work. Plant it there. Um, hmm. Probably plant one here. And one here. All right, the sun is setting, so we are going to head back to our little hole, and I'll make some mushroom soup down here. There we go. All right. So we are nice and secure again in our little cave system. Uh, I did have a creeper blow up down here, so it kind of altered things. Um, there's that. Where did I put my... Did I even make a furnace? I thought I made a furnace. Maybe I didn't make a furnace. I guess I never got around to making a furnace. So we'll head back over here and make another furnace, or a furnace, I guess I should say. All right, boom, boom, boom. There we 
go. And we've got a decent number of wood down there in the bottom, so I can actually make some stuff with it now. So I'm going to probably expand my tools a little bit. Um, what I'm going to probably end up doing is this isn't deep enough, so I'm going to basically drop this down about 10 feet. So this is going to be pretty deep when I get done. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that down about 10 feet. That way when we get back up on the surface here on tomorrow, uh, all of the plants that I harvest from there, uh, I can go ahead and plant down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and make one thing of mushroom soup. I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. Whoops, no. There we go. So that's four bowls. Um, I want to make one more set of bowls. There we go. There we go. So we got eight bowls now. Boom, boom, and boom. There we go. And as you can see, I've got all this stew on me now. Now that is going to take up a bit of inventory space. I may make a container here in a minute. The problem with making containers in survival mode is, you know, if you die, you lose everything. I mean, you're, you're going to lose it anyway. So storing it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, honestly, because, you know, if you're going to die and lose it all, what's the point in storing it anyway? All right, boom. There we go. Now we've got one, and I'm going to go ahead and cook these steaks. Steaks will allow me to, uh, you know, have one more source of food. Thankfully, steaks stack. I don't know why mushroom stew doesn't stack. Uh, you know, I mean, a resource is a resource. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me, but oh well, who cares? Anyways, um, like I said, we're going to spend, I'm going to kind of fast forward ahead. We're going to dig down, uh, get my tree farm set up. And then as soon as nighttime is over, I'll get up there. I'm going to bust open all those trees. And we'll hopefully move our tree farm down below. I should have enough um, components to where I can make some actual uh, instruments now. And then we're going to basically start digging down the uh, top floor of there. Or dig the inner wall down a bit. So... Anyways, I hope you guys are liking this series. If you do, please click that like button. As always, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.